I think like anything, when you take what you love and you make it a job, there's a downside. You know, I'm crazy busy right now. I don't get to go or do the big backcountry rides very much, but it's a small price to pay. You know, I've had my decades of, <laughs> of bike bumming or whatever, and to actually be professionally involved in the industry is, is awesome. I've heard the whole godfather of mountain biking and whitefish, that's funny. You know, like a lot of riders had a period where I had a bad habit of building trails just because it was fun. My name's uh, Pete Costain. I, um, I'm the owner of TerraFlow Trails and live here in Whitefish, Montana. You know, I was one of the first guys to kind of try and bring it out of the bush. Tried to be there and and be part of the scene and it's been cool to see all of a sudden you, you drive into Whitefish and there are bikes on backs of pickups everywhere. TerraFlow came to fruition kind of through a lifelong obsession with mountain biking. You know, I, I've literally ridden since uh, I think I got my first mountain bike, 1985. Or, you know, Whitefish, super proactive recreation town. Jobs started to come up in the mid 2000s and I had a construction background. First trail we built professionally was a runaway train up on Whitefish Mountain Resort. I guess we declared ourselves full-time builders in 2009, and that was the first year of the Whitefish Trail. Yeah, trail building's just pretty, pretty much about a good life. Yeah, I had a great day yesterday, uh, riding up at Whitefish Mountain Resort road with the boys, Ladd and parking, and that's something we don't really get to do all that much, but man, getting together with the boys. Riding locally is seriously cool. That's just been fun because they've kind of got lifelong riding skills and when I'm in town, we'll go up, spin a few laps and it's just cool to do the family thing on the family built trails. They were pretty young when those trails went in, but you know, Lad was throwing rocks and I think uh, Parkin was even doing a little excavator time when he was 12 or 13. Almost any time we finish a project, I literally just get emails or texts from people that are just stoked. There's something about making people stoked, especially when it's an activity that you're obsessed with. And to just bring that joy to people who share that love is, is so fun. I think it's important, those lifestyle sports. I feel like there's nothing wrong with baseball or, or basketball, but I think those things just kind of fade for most people. Whereas mountain biking, you get the bug and, um, and, and it just becomes part of your life.